Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to the channel and thank you so much for taking your own time out to check out this movie review. Where today I'm reviewing a movie that was released on streaming via VOD and digital on May 20th and that is called Dakota. And have you heard of this movie? Well, maybe not because I hadn't heard of it. So I saw it on streaming and I decided, you know, I'm going to take the chance. I'm just going to go rent this movie. And yeah, I, I did. And of course, I was very intrigued firstly because I'm a sucker for a dog movie. And of course, you know, I don't really like watching ones that's like really upsetting. But of course, a lot of them usually are. However, this one really intrigued me because I didn't really read much of the plot into it. I kind of just went in blindly and thought, right, well, I'll give it a chance and see what it's like. So the movie itself is directed by Kirk Harris, who is a former actor, or at least has done acting in the past. And it stars Lola Sultan, Abby Cornish, Patrick Muldoon, Tim Rozan, William Baldwin, and many, many more. And basically the plot of this movie, going straight into it, is it centers around a character called Kate, who is played by Abby Cornish, and she is widowed as she lost her husband in a war in Afghanistan. She's trying to look after this small town farm that she owns with her daughter. However, Sheriff Danforth, played by Patrick Muldoon, will do nothing and stop at nothing to obtain this farm from her. So I was very interested going into in this movie, and what can I honestly say about it? Well, it's a bit of a mixed bag. So let's just get straight into my positives. So firstly, the acting from some parts of this movie was good. I especially liked Lola Sultan, who played Alex Saunders. I thought that little girl actress was great. I really thought that she gave a really convincing performance. She probably showed the most emotion in this whole movie. And I think that she did a pretty solid job. Because I know that in the past, Kirk Harris' previous movies have also starred her in a lot of roles and also Patrick Muldoon so they're not strangers to each other so you can tell that they had some chemistry there going into this but also I just like kind of like the story about this small town farm because it is mainly shot in one or two locations and I think for most parts they kind of execute those locations to a great degree I felt like I was on a small town farm I felt that I was going to be there and watching this all kind of go down as like a third person unlike say like the bleachers taking a seat going into what's going on I felt like I was there so I definitely did well in terms of the set locations and then the cinematography at times was done pretty good as well now you could tell this was maybe like a lower budget movie and it felt like it at times had like maybe a bit of a bigger budget than like I say like a standard Hallmark movie for example but for what they kind of had, I felt like they executed it pretty good. And I would say that Patrick Muldoon, I hated his character, but he did a great job in playing the villain in this movie. So I will give him props where that is due. And also just kind of the message about family and about not, not giving up when times are tough. I felt those messages were relayed, for the most part, in a pretty good way. And of course, the dog itself, Dakota, was pretty cute. Again, I'm a sucker for dog. I'm a huge animal lover. So any movie that's going to have a dog in it, I'm going to check out so you know definitely a way to get people to watch your movie just by having a dog in it you know or in this case they also have a cat at a certain point as well so that also kind of sold me. Now if I'm going to go into the negative so this is where I'm kind of on the fence because this is kind of marketed as such as like a PG rated movie if I'm not mistaken maybe a 12 maximum so that kind of means mainly for kids and maybe you know adults can enjoy this as well for sure but mainly marketed for kids. So the sheriff, played by Patrick Muldoon, who is played by who plays a character called Sheriff Danforth, sorry. His plot of this movie, without going into massive spoilers, is he's trying to get this land. And there's a backstory there, but I'm not going to reveal what that is. However, he doesn't do any actions in this movie whatsoever where you feel for his character, and you're probably not meant to, so that's fine. There's a one point where the chickens are on skiff. So I'm just going to kind of give this warning because I feel like you need to kind of go on with this one if you're going to check this out. There's a point where the chickens escape but you don't see it at first but he actually sets a chicken coop on fire and i'm like when did this change from a kids movie to a more mature one it really didn't so i kind of felt like in this messaging i felt like if they're like a young kid seeing someone set fire to this chicken coop that can scar kids pretty easily i was shocked by what i saw so i felt like the direction at times it had this small story but then the ideas to execute into that small story some of them just didn't work and especially that part i was floored i was like am i really seeing this in like a kids based movie 
yeah, it was definitely pushing the bounds on that scene alone. Yeah, some of the acting at times, there's maybe one or two, I'm not going to mention names, but there's one or two not so great performances in here. So, for the most part, I felt like this movie at times had good execution, but then times of my negatives that the latter execution really kicked in. And in the end, it felt like a bit of like mixed messages we're trying to get across in the actions like you're supposed to really feel for this moment but then you can't because of like a despicable act the sheriff does and i don't know how the other sheriff doesn't report on before near this movie i was just literally left kind of confused and to be honest walking away from it now i can't really say that i would probably watch it again but i guess it's like a first time watch as long as you know kind of like the warning that i've just given you then you might enjoy this movie. So my overall score for Dakota is a 5.5 out of 10. So if you've seen this movie yourself, are you going to go check it out? Leave any and all thoughts and comments down below. If you've enjoyed this review, please give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. And until the next time that I see you, I'll be seeing you later.